Hi everybody, thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I sweat it out and I detox and I really focus my energy and my mind and I meditate on things that I need to meditate on to keep my sanity in these crazy times. But this is the thing, the more crazy it gets out there in the world, the more I distract myself with stuff that has to be done and I have to deal with and it makes me sometimes end up literally panicking and manic. And the reality is when I come back in here and I'm able to breathe and focus my energy and relax and hand it over and really talk to myself mainly and whoever listens to this um, about how to deal with the problems that we're all facing as a as a human beings on this planet because this week my phone is blowing up I'm really sorry. Uh, sorry I forgot to turn it off this week so I take time off from this because I'm running around like a whack job and then not doing this not meditating and focusing my energy and making myself calm in a sea of chaos takes me off my path and lowers my vibration so I'm back in and I'm focusing on changing my circumstances and my energy today. Because this week, like, it's freaking, it's like, I study astrology too. And there's an astrologer that I follow called the Leo King. And he's on Instagram. He's on YouTube. And he has an app and a website. And he's amazing. But it's almost like too much because I, looking, I know about sacred geometry. And I know about transits. And I know about planets. And the the planetary situation for a long time has been crazy like the most intense transits for sure that I've ever experienced in my lifetime and I've been doing this for a long time but for lifetimes it's never been like this so the whole planet is being put through these energetic shifts and forcing us to face our biggest fears for forcing us to really come into our highest selves in an incarnation and it's not always easy because it takes letting go of everything that you think you know and understand in your life and so this week specifically is about as we approach the solstice and that whole energetic shift it's all about coming to a place in your life of facing your fears because your fears will motivate you to change Right, And if you can come into that facing of your fears with a, a heart full of love and gratitude for the blessings that you do have in your life, then the fears become no more. And you're able to overcome and you're able to see a path out of your situation and you're able to manifest what you need. And it's miraculously profound because it is miraculous. But man, sometimes it can be so overwhelming literally to be able to look in the face of your most deepest fear and not literally want to fall apart right and <laughs> it's funny because I was listening to this astrolog the astrologer today the deep um in-depth weekly forecast looking at all the transits and whatever and I'll put a link to him he's amazing He's going through some similar craziness and it's like, it's not just me. My clients are freaking out. People that are out there in the world buying or not buying are freaking out. People in general are having to face their most incredible transitions and transformations in their lives. And it's so easy to fall back into what's not working. But in the end, it will be so much more difficult you know, so I'm sweating bullets just so you know, I waited, I meditated before I did this and really wanted to think about what I wanted to say. And really the real deal is you've got to embrace love and gratitude for everything in your life, even the challenges, because they are helping you grow. And without those challenges, you would not necessarily grow. Okay. So stand up and be present and face those fears and make a difference in your life. And you'll make a difference in everybody else's life that you encounter. Okay, so that's my message today and I'm telling you this, I'm telling it from my own personal experience of feeling absolutely terrified. Whew. But I'm going to make it through as I always do. Please subscribe. I'm just dripping and it makes all, I, a lot of emotion. I'm, I'm Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, so I embrace it, whatever. <laughs> I feel it, I wear it on my sleeve, it's all good. Anyway... 
please subscribe. It'll mean the world to me and hopefully I'll make a difference in your life. And thank you so much for listening and I'm available for readings and, and energetic healings and whatever else you might need. If I can be of service, I'm willing and I'm available. <gasps> Ripping man.